What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Honey Bee, back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day one. Those of you who have been rocking with your girl from the start, I appreciate you guys also very much. Cross watchers and newcomers, you are welcome here as well. If you just so happen to stumble across this video and you see something that you do like or hear, join our colony by hitting the subscribe button down below. Also, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do premiere content to the channel, you guys. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend. Everyone is welcome here at the Hunter Pot Oracle. It is an all-inclusive channel. To anyone sending us any evil eye, ill intent, or negative energy, we return that energy to the universe. We allow the universe to transmute that energy for us and send that back down to us in love, luck, joy, peace, abundance, prosperity. Um, anyone sending us any positive energy? energy we return that back to the center tenfold we wrap them up in that energy we bind them to that energy um remember to do your return to senders as well as call your energy back towards you at the end of each day what else what else what else what else um i only wish to communicate with high vibrational beings only of the purest white light for the most accurate and clearest of messages let's go ahead and tap in tap 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 in see what the universe wants us to know um, one, two, three on the timer, you guys, so you are um, on the right path. I also want to get a spirit message, if I can remember, at the end of this spread. Give me the message of spirit. What does my collective need to know? What kind of energy is buzzing around the collective? Ew, contracts, careers, commitments. So someone may be signing a contract or will be signing a contract soon. This may be for a new job. Um, also, it stays here, Saturn. Saturn is the planet of karma. So this may be good karma or bad karma. Let's see. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this contract, career, and commitments? Why is this here, Spirit? Why is this here as it pertains to my collective? Ooh. Should I take those? No, not take that. Take those. Why is this here? Thoughts and isolating. All right. Okay. 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 I see where this is going. Someone is getting some karma. Someone is just reaping some karma, you guys. And. During this time of reaping that karma, this person has you in mind. It's almost like the universe is putting you on this person's mind as a way of saying, um, remember when you did this to Honey's Viewer? This is why you're in the predicament that you're in. I'm hearing in a pickle. This person is in a pickle, finds themselves in a pickle. Um, pickles may be significant. You may like pickles or pickle juice is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing pickle juice pops. Okay, what else? person got themselves in a pickle yeah now they're limited it's like their access towards you is limited as well here this person is also fearful of coming towards you um hmm. i'm hearing they might be my karma so for some of you um this person may feel like you may be their karma for things that they've done in the past for some of you for others of you this is this person having karma in their life and they are knowing because it's because of what they've done to you um, there's distance. You've retreated from someone. There's definitely distance. There's been a time out between you and a specific someone. This person has you on their mind, collective. This person has you on their mind. Look, longing and separation. This person is longing for you in this time of separation. Wow. Okay. What did they do? What did this person do? What did this person do, collective? I'm sorry, collective. What did this person do to my collective? Or collective, put it in the comments. What, this, what did this person do? What did this person do to my collective that has them reaping such karma? What did they do? What did they do? Receive. Okay, so it's almost like this person, they're showing me four of cups. This person rejected your offer. Someone rejected your offer for love or commitment. This person, okay, I hear non-committal. So this person didn't want to be tied down. This person didn't want to tie down. It's almost like they feel like committing to you, committing to a relationship, to committing to a connection um, would cramp their style is what I'm hearing. Okay, so pickles, um, you could drink pickle juice when you have cramps, you guys. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, uh, damn. This person rejected your offer. This person rejected your offer for a rebirth. Yeah, they 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 rejected your offer to grow and build, right? This person also detached from you. This person was emotionally unavailable, most definitely. Um dang. What does this person want to say? What do they want my collectives to know? Chemistry and passion. Yeah, this person is longing for you sexually. Is what I hear. This person kept their emotions out of the situation. This person kept it. Um, this could be a friends with benefits on again, off again. 
Um, this person was in and out flighty. I'm hearing Knight of Wands energy. This person was very flighty. Um, they're also showing me the Knight of Swords. So this person could have been very irrational. You were dealing with someone who acted before they thought. This person didn't take time to think things through. Um, I'm hearing hot-headed. Yeah, right when I say hot-headed, look, what's under the deck? The Ace of Wands, definitely. Um, this could also be, Ace of Wands could also be a card of Fallot. Oh, so this is someone who they, they thought, there's a song, uh, I'm just thinking with my D-I-C-K. Yeah, this person, and then it says, my shit dump. So this person, they could have a good sex game, or so they think. <laughs> I'm hearing someone say, it ain't all that, it ain't as good as they, they think it is. All right, damn. So this person, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. yeah, look, being offered in reverse, this person definitely rejected your offer of love, offer of commitment. This person wanted to keep it st strictly sexual. Friends with benefits is what I'm hearing, seriously. This person was very vain. This person had a big ego, ego bigger than their body um, is what I'm hearing. 555 on the timer. I feel like five fives are the number of changes. Um, either this person, yeah, this person is going through a rebirth. At this time, higher self-activation. So this person is like uh, the butterfly. They're going through a transformation at this time. But also, this transformation has has been brought on by tower moments. Um, tower is a major arcana, you guys. Y'all know what I say about major arcanas. No matter what you do, no matter what nobody else does, is going to happen. So the universe brought in a tower on this person because they were refusing to evolve. I feel like you were sent in to be the catalyst for this person's awakening. Um... Which you still were, unbeknownst to you or them, is because of what they did to you. That spirit forced a tower in this person's life. Dang. Dang. Look, this person was control tactics. Again, manipulative. This person was very manipulative. They wanted to control how the situation played out between you and them. For some of you, damn, could be dealing with a, um, it's a source. So that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or... Um, Ace of Pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be. Don't have to be. This person didn't want anything stable. With this Ace of Pentacles being here, this person was also very manipulative with the Ace of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords showing itself. I also saw the confusion. This person kept you confused. But I'm hearing they were delusional. I'm hearing um, they really thought all they had to do was lay the sex down, whether this be man or woman. And this was their way of controlling. Like this person controlled with their sex. This, I'm, I'm hearing like sex magic like you know they almost like they tried to have you um d whipped or p whipped this is how this person moved they didn't want love they wanted sex only yeah stability harmony and flow they didn't want that they met their their control tactics messed up the flow of what this connection was to be this was supposed to be very harmonious for you too this could have been a soul contract um soulmate twin flame higher level soulmate or you and this person had had contract yet? Yeah, yeah, this was this could have had the potential to be um, your partner, kingdom kingdom spouse, kingdom husband, kingdom husband or kingdom wife. Under the deck, we also have apology and forgiveness. Um, mm -mm -mm. This person don't think that you'll be open to receiving an apology for them from them. This person self sabotaged this connection. They're also riddled with guilt. Um, here, look, reunion, soul ties. They don't feel like you want a reunion with them, but this is what they want from you. This person feels like if they could come in and show you how guilty they are or how guilty they feel and po apologize to you, that maybe that will sway you in their direction. Um, I hear I don't think so. So they don't think so. And I'm hearing, um, you know, when somebody be like, well, maybe you and I can get back together and you'll re respond. I don't think so. Like, you know, yeah, most definitely. This person definitely wants a renewal on, on a spark to this connection. I just don't think um, the collective is up for it. Like, this could have been what somebody did to you, right? Wow. All right. You get because I feel like this is your energy now. You're closed off. You're guarded. You're resistant to this person. For some of you, you could have went through a rebirth in the winter month. I'm hearing I finally let go. Like you finally decided to put this connection down. And you focused on forming your own solid foundation. Building your own ten of pinnacles. And right under that falls self-love, creation, and tension. Like I feel like you're, you're moving um, your life in a way where intention is at the forefront. You're choosing yourself. Hmm... You're taking action. You're having new beginnings here. But this person is also spying, watching you from a distance. I'm hearing I love them from a distance. So some of you, you may still have love for this person, but you're choosing at this time to love this person from a distance. You're actually at this time co-creating with spirit. You're take, taking advice and guidance from your ancestor guides as well, which is a good thing, you guys. You've had the courage to change. 
right? You've had the courage to change. Um, I'm hearing the road less traveled. So for some of you, um, it's bringing you right into, I hear fruition. I hear fruition. Some things are coming into fruition for you because you have decided to journey on a new path. You decided to change the way you do life, do relationships, do this person. Um, I'm here and I won't be doing that anymore. Yeah, so some of you have definitely set firm boundaries as it pertains to this person. Um, damn, they want me to get this this deck. So let's see. Let's see what they have to say in the Wild Street Oracle. Let's see. Give me some messages, Spirit. Give me some messages of the pure white light. Yeah, look, first thing under the deck. I just want us to start over. This person definitely wants a a, a, a respark to this connection with you. I'm here and I'm not going for it. <laughs> Too late. They're showing me like um the monopoly board, go to jail, go directly to jail, do not pass, go, do not collect two hundred dollars. So for some of you, oh damn. So for some of you, you may feel like this person wants to resurface, reemerge in your life because it's tax season. Y'all be careful with that, you know, because there's a lot of people that'll that'll try to you know, come back towards you to gain something out of you, right? Um, this person feel like for some of you, you may have gotten a new job or like I said, signed a new contract somewhere. You're, you're, you're forming your own 10 of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, you have Ace of Pentacles out here and you also have 10 of Pentacles and you have this action card. Like you're, you're moving with intention. Your intention is to gain, to harvest. Um, they're showing me a cornucopia. So that's Taurus energy um, to be settled, to be stable, queen or king of Pentacles type energy right i'm here and i'm setting myself up to be a wife or a husband dang okay i really need you next to me i feel so lost without you so yeah definitely with the thoughts thoughts are swirling in this person's head they regret not taking your love offer they regret not committing to you this person regrets being non-committal in this knight of wands energy i'm here and there's nothing that i could do about it look abundance flows to you now all blocks are removed it belongs to you. Just what I said. You you moved with intention. You decided to do things differently. And because you have done so, your 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 manifestations, your prayers are coming into fruition for you at this time. This year. This year. Mm -mm -mm. Look, you may never hear me verbally say it, but I'm extremely impressed with your glow up. Your growth makes me feel worthless. So yeah, this person feels small next to you. They feel like a shell, a shell of a man or a shell of a woman. This person don't feel like they can live up to your expectations. Um, this person has some insecurity issues. Definitely. There's definitely definite insecurity issues surrounding this person, this connection. Um, you think too much of yourself. I need someone who is easy to control and it falls right on top of control tactics. Yeah, this person wanted to control the situation. This person wanted to manipulate. They, 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 they came into this connection trying to manipulate and for some of you this may have worked for a while but then i'm here and i'm not going for that like you decided against that you know that it no longer served you that you no longer wanted to settle this is what i hear settle you no longer want to settle for this person they're not worth they're not worth my time is what i hear dang my ex is a problem in my life right now so for some of you this person could be with an ex um or i don't know i'm gonna clarify that I clarify that because I didn't I didn't pick up third party energy. That doesn't mean it's not here, right? What I get from that is um they could have rejected your offer to go towards someone else, but what they have in mind right now is you. This person that whoever they went toward or this ex is the furthest thing from this person's mind because the ex didn't come up in, in the initial cards at all. Look, I went back to someone from my past. They sold me a dream, it wasn't real. I shouldn't have chose them. I've made a huge mistake. Yeah, yeah, well. Sorry, Buckle. Sorry, sorry. And I'm gonna take all of these. I'm gonna take all of these. Um, it says I've been doing my own research about twin flame. I know who you are to me. So for some of you, this could definitely be a twin flame connection. Um, but if this is, and you mentioned to this person about a twin flame that you and them are twin flames, this person has been doing researches. Researches. Okay, so multiple searches, right? They've been trying to understand the twin flame journey, right? It says, I've been entertaining a Jezebel spirit. It tried to destroy me. So this person could have went towards someone that used them. This I'm hearing they met their match. So if this person was prone to manipulation control tactics, they ran into someone that was just like them. Wow. Okay. I refuse to give you up. So this person has, who, baby. I'm hearing, you got it, you got it bad. When you're on the phone, hang up and you call right back. 
And I'm hearing this could this was you in the past, but now it's roles reversed. They're showing me a table, but it's turning. My oh my, how the tables have turned. Dang. And it says the energy I portrayed you for is the same karmic energy from a previous lifetime. I didn't learn the lesson then, and I'm currently struggling with the same lesson. My fate remains the same. I'm under divine judgment. Right? So while you're over here, uh, you you've taken a detour and you've been met with divine inter intervention and everything going smoothly in your life. This person is also being uh, also under divine judgment their fate remains the same so i'm hearing punished this person is punished like spirit has this this person on spiritual punishment i'm hearing access they can't access their blessings nothing good and nothing is going good in this person's life at this time what is this my ex is a problem in my life what what is going on with this ex oh hanging man this person is stuck you see whatever you know what I heard? Be careful what you ask for. So whatever, whoever this person chose and went toward, this person is forced to to ride out this karmic cycle with this karmic energy. Dang, fifteen fifty five on the timer, y'all. Definite tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. This person is watching you though. They are watching you. Look, the moon, the moon, and and they're they're forced to stay even after they have uncovered because the moon is a, is about seekers right even after their truth about you has been uncovered this person still has to stay where they are like they can no longer come towards you not only do you have this person boundaries in place with this person but spirit has this person on punishment and this is all they can do is is be in their little feelings king of cups uh empress under the deck with the judgment this person definitely wants to do over this person is is having sleepless nights this person could suffer from anxiety as well look did i talk about this tower after tower after tower this person huh huh but look uh what, what's the saying <sighs> pride comes before the fall this person was very prideful that like i'm here and i want to win at all costs this is why this control and tactics card has had come out this person wanted to win at all costs and they they went towards something that they thought they were winning with and they, they lost this person is on a higher losing streak um, I hope this resonated for one of you, some of you, all of you. Until next time, love and light.